Let me bring you songs from the wood to make you feel much better than you could know. Hi, Linda here. I had some things to do today, but I'm going to give you a Native American perspective on what I think is happening. We have this prism thing that's every during every stroke of the keyboard, your dishwasher watches you, your refrigerator, your smart grid meter, the drones, um, all your mail is um, photographed before it goes through. Well, Americans rotting. It, we're, we're rotting from within by those, those powers that be up there who think they are above everyone. I imagine looking at themselves in the mirror, they have to be fearful every day of their life. They have to be. Or their arrogance just puts them in another state of mind. I could not imagine spending other people's money going on vacation and having fundraisers and taking that money and spending it on myself. Never in my life. I would think of the poor and... And, and try to, to get programs to help the poor and feed the poor healthy, nutritional meals, not this Monsanto and Nestle's bullshit. Um, I, I, I read the news. I got home. I started reading some of the articles and, and watching some of this stuff. Of course there was going to be. I saw that, that California had a, um, a college campus and there's shootings. Of course there is. You took away the people's guns. You know, if someone would, have had a, if someone would have had a gun there, a sheepdog is what I call them, they would have protected, they could have protected, they could have shot the killer or the shooter. I mean, this is becoming beyond insane. And we're allowing this, and it's time to call your senators. My senator doesn't even answer her phone. She has a voicemail. You call her little arrogant people locally, and they pretty much hang up on you. I asked one, I said, do you, I, I quoted something from, um, about chemtrails and implied consent, and he thought I was a little uh, crazy, so I stated where I found it from, and so he doesn't believe that you can find this um, freedom in the Freedom of Information Act. That is the people who are running our their little minions don't even want to listen to us little worm-like slithering creatures, and I'm sure that's what they think of us. But this is what I say: Let's plan a day, one day. I, I mean, we really need to march on the capitals, but here recently, let's plan one day, one day, like, um, I, I know people like to go out on Friday and Saturdays and Sundays, but maybe one weekend day where we don't buy gas, we don't buy groceries, we don't do nothing, and I think a Friday should do it. Don't go to the bank. Don't. Or maybe a Thursday. I don't know when people get paid. Don't go to the bank. Don't go to the grocery store. Don't buy gas. Don't purchase anything. Don't consume. Sit at home. Don't watch your TV. Talk to your family. Let's do something. Let's show them we don't need them. Go out. Have a barbecue. Buy your groceries in advance. Go meet your neighbors. Say, hey, let's talk. Let's have a barbecue. Let's play badminton or kickball or, or let's just sit around and talk and build a bonfire at night and look at the stars and let's go barefooted. Let's do something, but let's ignore them because as long as we have our focus on them we will not beat them we need to take our power back and yes I'm a little angry right now I had I had things to take care of today it was a lovely day I came home I read this crap all over the news and I mean it blew my mind it's like and people are still taking this and they still think that you know this guy and they they think all the elective officials can solve the problems they can't solve any problems I mean, Obama can't even read without his teleprompter. We've got to stop this. I mean, I don't even think Bush could either, or Clinton. I mean, none of them need to save face. We need to turn away from them now. And, and the FBI will hear this and the CIA, but I'm turning away my power from them. I don't want to associate with them. We need to call one day. If you agree, spread this video. We'll, we'll make it a Friday or something. I mean, I know that's the day people party. Buy your stuff Thursday. Stay at home and party. Don't go to bars. Don't go anywhere. If you own a bar, close it down. I'm sorry you'll lose some funding for that day. But just stop it. Just say boycotting America today. For one day, boycott America. Just do it. Boycott America. Well, let's think of a date. People, please remix this. Figure out a day. Let's leave messages and comments. Let's do this within the next month. 
boycott one day because vacation's coming up and they're going to take advantage of that. You know, when school gets out and, and we, you know, the families can take vacations if they can afford to. So one day, boycott America. Don't consume at all. Stay at home. If you can do it for two days, that's better. Three days, better. Stay off the internet. Nobody put a YouTube video up. Don't even open it. Don't watch TV. Don't do anything. Just do something else. One day, boycott America. Let's do this really soon. Any suggestions, just leave them in my box. Please remix this. Let's spread this like a fire. A fire of ideas. We don't need these people. They need us. And let's remember that. They need us. They suck us like vampires, our money. And I'm not trying to sound like you know who. But it is true. They do. And we could boycott one day. One day. If we could get like 30% of the people in the United States to boycott America. Make signs. Boycott America. Don't go to work. Call in work. I'm just trying to find solutions here, but we've got to stop the madness, and they've got to start listening to us. I can tell you what. Patty Murray, I can call her office any day of the week, and it's an answering machine because it's always filled up, and it's never not been, and they've even banned my, restricted my phone from being, from calling there because it kind of ticked me off. She's supposed to be a representative of Washington State, yet you can never confront her. You can't talk to Her Majesty uh, Patty Murray or Maria Cantwell. So here's how I figure it. Let's boycott them. I don't need them. I don't like them. They haven't done a damn thing for me. So let's do this. I'm sure some of you feel the same way. So remix it. Spread it like fire. I love you all. Peace, love, and truth.